A corbel arch is an arch-like construction method that uses the architectural technique of corbeling to span a space or void in a structure, such as an entranceway in a wall or as the span of a bridge. A corbel vault uses this technique to support the superstructure of a building's roof. A corbel arch is constructed by offsetting successive courses of stone at the spring line of the walls so that they project towards the archways, center from each supporting side until the courses meet at the apex of the archway. For a corbelled vault covering the technique is extended in three dimensions along the lengths of two opposing walls. Although an improvement in load-bearing efficiency over the post and lintel design, corbelled arches are not entirely self-supporting structures, and the corbelled arch is sometimes termed a false arch. For this reason, unlike true arches, not all of the structure's tensile stresses caused by the weight of the superstructure are transformed into compressive stresses. Corbel arches and vaults require significantly thickened walls and an abutment of other stone or fill to counteract the effects of gravity, which otherwise would tend to collapse each side of the archway inwards. Use in historical cultures. Ireland The New Grange Passage Tomb has an intact corbel arch supporting the roof of the main chamber, dating from about 3000 BC. Ancient Egypt Egyptian pyramids from around the time of Sneferu used corbel vaults in some of their chambers. These include the Bent Pyramid and the Red Pyramid. Ancient Greece The ruins of ancient Mycenae feature many corbel arches and vaults, the Treasury of Atreus being a prominent example. The Arcadico Bridge is one of four Mycenaean corbel arch bridges which are part of a former network of roads designed to accommodate chariots between Tiryns and Epidaurus in the Peloponnese, in Greece. Dating to the Greek Bronze Age, it is one of the oldest arch bridges still in existence and use. The well-preserved Hellenistic Eleuthena Bridge on Crete has an unusually large span of nearly 4 meters. Maya civilization corbelled arches are a distinctive feature of certain pre-Columbian Mesoamerican constructions and historical, regional architectural, styles particularly in that of the Maya civilization. The prevalence of this spanning technique for entrances and vaults in Maya architecture is attested at a great many Maya archaeological sites, and is known from structures dating back to the formative or pre-classic era. By the beginning of the classic era corbelled vaults are a near-universal feature of building construction in the central Petain Basin region of the central Maya lowlands. India Before the true arch was introduced by the Mughals, the arches in Indian buildings were trebated or corbelled. In North India in the state of Orissa, the later temples at Bhubaneswar were built on the principle of corbelled vaulting, which is seen first in the porch of the Mukts War, a temple said to epitomize then Indian architecture, circa 950 AD, and, technically speaking, no fundamental change occurred from this time onwards. The tomb of Sultan Ghori is an example of a corbelled arch from 1231 AD, located in New Delhi. India, Indonesia The Kandi or temples of Indonesia which are constructed between 8th to 15th century, are made use of corbel arch technique to create a span opening for gate or inner chamber of the temple. The notable example of corbel arch in Indonesian classic temple architecture is the arches of Borobudur. The interlocking andesite stone blocks creating the corbel arch is notable for its T-formed lock on the center top of the corbel arch. Cambodia All the temples in Angkor made use of the corbel arch between the 89th and 12th centuries. Gallery Stone corbelled arch forms the hallways in the palace at Palenk. Brickwork corbelled arch at Ubud in Bali, Indonesia. Stone corbelled gateway arch to walls of Angkor Tom in Cambodia. A brick corbelled arch disintegrating slowly at Mai San in Vietnam. Stone corbelled arch in the Kanak Temple, India.